so early. I thought it was supposed to be brighter in the mornings. It's so dark out. Okay. All right, I just finished the flow. It was really nice. That was my first time doing any of um, Melissa's workouts. And I'll definitely do it again. I really liked it. I feel really good. Um, so now I'm gonna go back upstairs and I'll catch you there. If I'm being honest, I don't even like remember waking up this morning. I was so tired when I first vlogged. I wanted to wake up at 6, but I ended up getting up at like 6.30, which was good. What I did though was I like reversed what I normally do in the morning and it made getting up a lot easier. So, like, normally with my mornings, what I'll do is wake up and then I'll stay in bed for a little while and I'll, like, read a book and journal. Um, and I've found that it's, like, hard for me to wake up when my goal for a successful, quote-unquote, morning routine is to, like, stay in bed and, and read. So I have a tough time with it and I'll normally just like skip it. Like I'll do like, I'll wake up and then I'll like read, journal, meditate, and then like go work out. And I have a really hard time waking up to do that. I used to not, like it used to be totally fine, but, um, but I think it was because I used to have really intense workout workouts planned for the mornings so like i would go to like crossfit or i would do like um i would lift really heavy really heavy like quote unquote for me um and i was just like doing a lot more intense stuff so i would like give myself more time to wake up i think but today because i did a melissa wood health workout i did a yoga Pilates fusion and I'm actually surprised how much I liked the Pilates portion of it Which is crazy because like my studio offers Pilates, but I've just always been like such like a cardio and spin junkie that I've always I've just never done it and like Exercise to me has always been something that like it should leave you feeling super out of breath but I'm learning that that's like you don't have to be sweaty and out of breath to get like a good workout in like doing that like I'm not sweating and I feel really good and just very energized and very long and like stretched out I don't want to say lean but I just feel very like I feel really good so I'm trying to do other workouts that make me feel good what I'm getting at is that it was much easier this morning to wake up and the first thing to do workout and then come back make like a coffee I th i'm actually gonna make a matcha this morning so i'll show you how i make my matchas so workout come back make a coffee matcha tea whatever i want um and then like gratitude journal and like read and meditate and then like get into my work day so it's like reverse of my morning routine but it was a lot easier to get out of bed this morning when i did that um, and I partly think it's because I had like a gentle, low impact. Key here is a low impact because running is very high impact. So I'm trying not to like overload. I'm gonna go for a run tomorrow and I'm excited because it's gonna be like my first run since my half marathon. Um, I've taken like three weeks off of running and I'm feeling it like I am really itching for a run and I just feel like my body likes running i don't know it just like 
functions better. So I'm just gonna run for 45 minutes tomorrow. Um, and however, like I'm not training for anything right now. So I'm just running for time rather than like miles right now. So I'm just gonna run for 45 minutes tomorrow. Um, I'm not sure if I'll go on the trail or on a treadmill. Treadmill would be pretty boring, but I didn't know it still was like super dark at 630. I thought those days were done when daylight savings hit, but no, it was like pitch black this morning at 6.30, which is so not fun. Also, I don't know if I like yoga. Like I always make myself go to it and go do it, but then every time I'm doing it, I'm like, oh, do I like this? Like down dog, downward dog, I don't know. I can't stand it. It just, I don't like the feeling my head gets. I'm never flexible enough. I don't know, I'm just gonna keep working on it. I'm supposed to go to hot yoga on, on um, Wednesday. So we'll see. Okay, it's fairly easy to make a good matcha. You don't need a ton of ingredients. So you just fill up a kettle with water. And then you just boil it. Um, I have the chorus, chorus I don't know how to say it. I have that. <coughs> Kettle, so like you can choose settings and I always just do boil black even though it's technically a green tea and there's a green setting I just do boil black then you're actually gonna need a blender or you could use like a frother but blender gets it really frothy so in the blender obviously the first thing is matcha this is just the matcha matcha collagen I don't know why I couldn't say that matcha collagen just do a scoop of that but really any matcha works i do like this one now. i load up on a lot of cinnamon and a little bit of turmeric um if you have vanilla you'll want to put a splash of vanilla in but i'm out of vanilla extract and vanilla bean paste so i'm gonna skip i also really like using the um Vital Proteins Vanilla, that's really good in there. I do a scoop of that. But now I'm gonna go in with coconut butter. This also keeps me really full, this matcha recipe, and I think it's because of the coconut butter. So I do like half a spoon, which I guess is like a tablespoon. And then I do about a full, Spoon serving of agave. You could also use honey. And then just to keep it nice and creamy, I use a little bit of oat milk. Just because I like it creamy, but doing all oat milk is too heavy for me in the mornings. Then with your water, Then you just put it on your blender um, for about a minute. Look at this, you get all this frothy goodness. And then I always put my matches in really big mugs so I can drink a lot of it. And you just pour it in, get all that froth. Mm -mm. Oh girl, and there you have it. A perfect cup of matcha. I actually measured that perfectly. So Mondays are a little hectic for me because I edit the stride at home videos on Monday and they take like all day to edit. Just like not always, but like last week, for example, they just were really annoying and just like the audio is off on every single video, which I don't know why, but it just was. So I'm hoping that won't be the case. Like if the audio is not off, it literally takes 15 minutes to edit each video. And then the longest part is just the exporting of each. But I actually had to get 
I say had to, like I was forced into it. I was lucky enough that I was able to afford to get a second laptop so that on days like this where I'm editing, my, my other work doesn't have to suffer because this laptop is like so old that it just, it slows everything down when I edit with this laptop. Like today I'm doing some stuff for Stride, um, like some marketing and like graphics stuff. And I wouldn't even be able to access like Canva with it because like it's just that slow. And like the thumbnails for the videos, like I can't make the thumbnails for the Stride at Home videos without like Canva or anything. So yeah, it's just rather annoying when um, using just one laptop. So I'm very fortunate to be able to use multiple. Push it out. Hey! One out, one in, sickles. With control. The rhythm first. Here we go. A three, two, a one. Drop. Hey! Yup! Add that X at the end if you want. Go! Ha! Go! Come on! Done editing. See, like, two of the videos gave me trouble, and, like, after each song, I'd have to, like, readjust the audio. But then the other two videos had zero audio matching up issues and flew through them. So it's 10 a.m. now, and I just finished editing. So now these are going to export, honestly, for the rest of the afternoon. And I bring my laptop to the studio tonight when I go to teach at 5. Um, because my laptop literally just, I don't, I don't know, like maybe it's my Wi-Fi, but like the videos just take forever to upload here, but not YouTube videos, which is very strange, but these like stride at home videos take forever to upload on our platform here, but at the studio, they literally upload in, I'm not kidding. I can get six videos uploaded in two minutes. But yeah, now this honestly, my computer is pretty much like out of commission for the rest of the day because it takes each video about... 45 minutes to an hour to export. I don't know why it's super annoying so and you can like hear it And if I did anything else on this computer, it would be super super slow So I'm so thankful for my second laptop to like hold me over so I can like still um, Get a lot done I had a feeling this would happen once I laid down. It's so hard to get back up. It's like 11.30 right now and I set an alarm for 12 so I could take a 30 minute nap. You ever like try to take the nap but the nap doesn't want to take you? That's literally exactly what's happening right now. And I know that happens when my eyes will be closed and then all of a sudden they'll just open. And then I'm like, all right, I guess I don't need to nap. So what I'm gonna do to combat the, the sleepy vibe is change up the mood in here. So I'm gonna turn off my lights, turn on my tree, light a bunch of candles, and just like switch up the vibe. The hardest part is getting up. It's 1.30 and I did everything that I wanted to do today, except laundry. I still haven't done my laundry. Oh, I just hate doing it. Normally with laundry, I'll have moments where I'm like, all right, I have to do it and then I'll do it. But that moment has yet to arrive. So I just haven't done it. Um, but yeah, I finished my playlist. Um, this last video is still just exporting. So that's almost done. And then, yeah, I'm pretty much done until I have to go to spin at four. So I have like the next like, two hours free, which I'm so excited about. So I guess I could like adventure right now, but there's honestly nothing I wanna do other than have lunch and watch some Vlogmas videos. All right, let's make lunch. If you watched one of my week in my life when I was like right before I moved here, I talked about 
One of my favorite lunches ever is Triscuits with canned chicken. <laughs> Stick with me. And American cheese. I don't know why it's so good, but it is. I really like my playlist for tonight. It's very vibey. Um... I try and find like, well, I don't, never mind. I'm going to take that back. I don't try and find, I feel like sayings and quotes find you and they either speak to you or they don't. And there's a quote, I don't think it's not even a quote. It's just like a saying. And I really like it. It's called, it's the spirit of excellence. Um, I forget where I saw that. I feel like I might've read it in my book that I'm reading right now. Anyway, the spirit of excellence. And I think I'm gonna just like kind of talk about that tonight with my class. Tonight's ride is very like a journey. I find that playlists oftentimes make themselves. Like I'll find a song and then another song will like talk well with another song, communicate well with another song. So then the playlist kind of just will build upon itself um, I try to keep everything in the same family. Like I try not to be too crazy drastic of a different, like I like my playlist to all have, oops, I fucking hate mayo. Now it's on my counter. Um, I like my playlist to be very cohesive. I want each song to provide like a journey. All right, I'm going to eat this and Danielle posted vlogmas. So I ended up um, actually falling asleep and taking a little nap, which was glorious. <clears throat> it was amazing. So amazing. But now it's time to go to spin. All right, I'm going to change up your... I am the worst. I totally did not vlog at all at the studio and I should have because I was talking with um, some of my like employees and friends after class and we were talking about like my vlogs and stuff and I was like oh my god I have my camera should I go get it but we just kept getting wrapped up in combo so I just never pulled it out so that's my bad about that but class was really great um it's like raining now it's it's just been like really weird weather so like I said earlier my playlist was like super vibey I was a really big fan of it I really liked it tonight I had a great class so um I made a bagel with cream cheese and I'm defrosting chicken corn chowder and I have one more thing of that and then that wraps up all my soups. So, <clears throat> so that's what I'm gonna have for dinner tonight. I'm like really hungry right now. I stayed up way too late last night, so I'm pretty tired right now. All right, I'm gonna go have a wonderful night. Thanks again for watching. I really am enjoying this. Anyway, all right, I'm gonna go. Bye guys. Have a good night or day, bye. <laughs>